Okay guys, as promised, I said I'd put together a little video for you to give you some assessment guidance for the second assessment of the Outdoor Ed module, um, which is your group presentation, uh, which is due in on Wednesday 25th of October. Um, so get that date in your diary if you haven't done so already. Um, we had a great time with you on the trip, um, so we're really looking forward to hearing about some of your experiences um, and how they've impacted you as a teacher. Right, first of all, let's have a quick look at the assessment outline which you can see in the module guide. You can read through that yourself. Um, it's a reflective story. So yes, we want to hear about the stuff that you did um, whilst you were with us uh, on the outdoor educational trip, um, but we want that supported by some literature um, that's going to talk about your personal challenges, your collaborative challenges as a group, um, and then linking that into how you might uh, inform your future pedagogical approach within some of those environments that we were working in. Um, you've got some special instructions there, um, groups of four to six, ideally five in a group would be great um, and we would like you to email me your group list uh, in a week's time, so Wednesday 4th of October so I can make sure that you're all sorted um, with groups. Um, right, let's have a look at some stuff which is going to help you in terms of the content and structure of your presentation. Um, First of all, uh, like any good academic piece of work, we want to know what you're trying to do at the start. So what's the aim of the presentation? How are you going to set that, um, set that out? Um, you're going to use a reflective model, which you should have touched on last year in some of your modules. Um, so Gibbs or Kolb are really good places to start. Um, don't spend ages telling us about the model. Okay, Just use it. Explain why you're using it. Explain why you've chosen maybe that particular model but don't spend ages describing the model. That's a, a waste of your time. Uh, consider the role of the activity instructor. So you're gonna be looking at it from a participant's point of view a lot of the time because you that was your role when you were on the trip. But what I want you to consider is the point of view of the instructor. So the instructors were really good at talking to you guys about their kind of thought processes and the way in which they approach some of these activities, how they might work with younger groups. Um, but also think about it from the context of the university member of staff. We effectively took on the role of um, a, an accompanying teacher uh, on the trip. Um, so how, what have you learned about that particular role? Um, not just the, the activity leader. So that would be the role that you'd take on if you were a PE teacher leading one of these trips in a school. Um, we, we need your experiences and observations linked to research and literature. What we don't want is we did this, we did that, we jumped off a waterfall, it was really exciting. Um, we know all that, we were there, we found it really exciting too. Um, what we really need you guys to do is link that to some literature based stuff uh, that we've looked at within the modules. Got all your info on Moodle for that um, and obviously some of your own wider reading is going to inform that as well. Um, there might have been some critical moments, so it would have been great, you know, there might have been some key moments on that trip where there was uh, a particular incident or, or something that you felt really challenging or something that you observed someone else going through um, that may have impacted you in terms of going, wow, that was really interesting, um, let's link that to some theory and then talk about how it might impact my own pedagogy. Um, within that. You're obviously a group of kind of university students working in that environment. Um, how would your approach change or differ depending if you're working with a group of children? So you might be taking out some primary school children or some secondary school children. How would it how would it change your approach to some of those activities and the way in which they're led? Um, we did a lot of stuff on the Monday around the concept of adventure, the concept of risk, how that's managed, um, some stuff around group dynamics and connecting with the outdoors. These are all theoretical topics that we would expect to see informing your presentation so get get your reading done early um, and find some stuff which is going to link with that there's plenty of stuff on Moodle and referred to in the presentations that you've got access to there um, reflecting on your own kind of development uh, what skills or qualities have you got already and what might you need to develop um, if you were going to organize and lead a trip like this Okay, so some of you be teachers in two or three years you might get the responsibility of organizing something like this what, what have you got already that's going to help you? What do you need to develop uh, in terms of skills and qualities within that? Finally, um, some kind of summary. So we summarise our key learning from the trip um, and how it might impact your pedagogy within these environments. Remember, looking at it as much as you can from the role of a teacher rather than just a participant. 
Uh, in terms of presentation tips, we want you to be slick with your presentation. So think about your slide design. Um, think about the balance that you've got between your text, your images. If you're going to use some video, um, I've got the GoPro footage in my office, so you're welcome to come and grab a copy of that uh, onto your laptops or a memory stick. Um, how are you going to use that? Make sure we've had some kind of rehearsal. Um, reading off scripts um, isn't a great look in a presentation. You're not going to score highly in terms of presentation delivery if you're reading off scripts. Um, think about what you're doing as a group. So where do you stand? How do you split your group? Um, thinking about things like not fidgeting when other people are talking. Don't interrupt or talk over one another. We want this to look really professional um, rather than something which is coming together for the first time. Uh, don't be tempted to keep looking back at your slides. Okay, we can see your slides, um, we can read them. Um, what you need to do is connect with the people in the audience. So think about making eye contact with your assessors, um, people that you're talking to, um, and kind of making them feel like they're really part of that presentation. If you're gonna use videos, we've had some videos in the past which have been used um, really well. Um, short and snappy videos that are analyzed are gonna be much more beneficial to you guys than just showing us a really long video clip with a bit of music over the top. That's, that might look attractive, but it's not gonna score you marks in terms of the criteria that you're being assessed against. So get the module guide, have a look at the criteria that you're being assessed against, and if you're gonna show a video, that can be really helpful, but make sure you analyze what's happening in the video, link it to some literature, and then explain to us how, you, how that might impact your pedagogy within those environments. Um, some figures and diagrams are also gonna be really helpful. Um, so the adventure paradigm, for example, if you might link that to an example and explain it, that could be a really powerful tool. Um, but make sure that you use the diagrams um, rather than just popping them on the screen for someone to look at. If you can explain it, shows us that you understand it, you can analyze it and you can link it to your own experiences. Um, obviously more than happy for you guys to come and see any of the module team for some tutorial support with this. Um, so don't be afraid to come and show us what you got, show us what you're thinking. Um, it would be really great to see some innovative designs. So whether you're going to be using PowerPoint or Prezi, um, you know, try and try and push the boat in terms of the way in which you approach this, rather than just seeing it as a, a, a traditional presentation. I uh, hope that proves helpful. Um, and of course, if you've got any questions, don't be afraid to come and give me a shout. Thanks, guys.